fellas, we have to stop tolerating women's bullshit and bad behavior. This is why you see what you see today, because men allow it. You get what you allow. Men, we get what we allow. If we allow them to be like this, they gonna be like this. If they knew that their love life would suffer, if they knew that not only their love life would suffer, but their sex life would suffer, then they'll stop it. Regardless of what they say, regardless of you know what they say, um, we all do things to, to appease to the opposite sex. I don't care how much people say that they don't, women included, from the way that they dress to the the, the cosmetics and shit. I'm not saying that women don't like to from time to time feel pretty and compete with each other or feel prettier for themselves, but our lives typically revolve around sex, all of us, and desire and love, right? So if they knew that their love life would suffer and their sex life would suffer, that behavior would stop. Trust me. The only reason that they do the bullshit is because we allow the bullshit, right? I always say this, right? <clears throat> every time that you tolerate a woman's bullshit, you do every man on the planet a disservice. What that basically means is the reason that wom a woman is coming at you sideways, the reason that she's testing you in the beginning, the reason that she got flipped with you and disrespected you and called you out your name is because some other guy allowed that or two, three other guys before her allowed that. And she think that it's okay to disrespect men now. And so now you got to kick her to the curb or kick her out your house to show her, hey, I ain't the one. But the standard is set. Men are, will let me do whatever I want to do. I can be a diva. I can act like this. I can act like this. I'm tired of correcting y'all's mistakes. I'm tired of correcting y'all's simpy behavior when these hoes come to me. And they think that this is how they have to act. <clears throat> I'm tired of tearing down walls and tearing down guards. I'm tired of that based on them dealing with suckers their whole life, them dealing with busters and pushovers their whole life. You see what I'm saying? Weak men bring out the worst in women, which is what you see today. A bunch of strong, independent, uh, insufferable, combative men, that's the result of weak, I mean, combative women, that's the result of very weak men you see what i'm saying we have to stop letting stop letting women disrespect you stop letting women talk to you crazy stop women letting women treat you like sh have boundaries have self self-respect and set the standard for men in this country and let's start with this country first S set set the standard for men that okay i can't do this because men in my country don't tolerate this men behave in a certain way because we know women don't tolerate certain things women have set that standard for themselves generally which is why we have rules of the game and all that that i'm teaching you to <clears throat> so you can get what you want right i'm teaching you this stuff and guys like me are teaching you this stuff based on the women's rules and the boundaries that they have so you can circumvent that and get what you want we need the same thing they need to be classes it need to be women all over teaching, hey, you can't do this with a man because if you do this X, Y, Z, and this is how you get what you need out of a man. I mean, you see it here and there, but it's not enough. There's no need for it because women can just run wild and do whatever they want to do. And again, I'm not going to say, oh, the women need to stop being like that. Eh, they're going to do what they're going to do. I'm not going to put my feelings, my hard-earned money, my resources, my energy, my heart, into the hands of a woman. I'm not going to do it. You see what I'm saying? I'm putting it in my hands. And as, as, as men in this country, fellas, we have to put it in our hands. It's our responsibility to fix it. And you fix it by not tolerating it. When a woman disrespects you, when a woman violates your boundaries, if she cheat on you, she, she, she you know, uh, does you wrong, get rid of her. If they knew that they love life and they sex life would suffer, from bad behavior, they would stop it. Trust me. Love and sex is, 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 is almost as important as eating. This is how important it is to the human species, but they take it for granted because it's easily accessible because guys make it easily accessible because, and they take it for granted because guys just let them have their way. But love and sex is just as important as eating. 
and they can just do whatever. Okay, there'll be another guy and another guy and another guy and another guy. Okay, if you don't like my tone, I'll go deal with him. I'll go deal with him. And it just never stops. It's up to us to fix it, fellas. You understand what I'm saying? We have to stop tolerating women's bullshit and tolerating women's bad behavior. And I take we out of that, myself out of that, because I don't tolerate a woman's bullshit no more. I have no room for a woman's bullshit in my life. You see what I'm saying? Have a spine, have a backbone, have boundaries. Women respect that and they love that. These women want to be put in check. They want to be have boundaries. They want. They don't want to be running wild and independent. They, you seeing them now? They start to. Oh, I just want to be feminine. And I don't feel safe. They can't feel safe because y'all are weak. They have to be strong because it's a cold world out here and it's wild out here, and you have to be strong. That's your body's survival mechanism. They have to be strong because men are weak, generally. You see what I'm saying? But they want to be checked. They want to be put in their place. They want to be feminine. They want to relax and be ladies. But they can't because it's a bunch of busters out here. You see what I'm saying? So they got to be combative. They got to be insufferable. They don't have to be, but what what is the incentive not to be? If they can just be this way and be this way and anybody's going to accept them, any guy just going to accept them and they ain't going to have to, you know, it ain't going to take nothing from them or they can just get what they want, then they just going to keep doing it. But nah, let me guess. People just going to keep complaining, keep making complaining ass video, complaining ass video after complaining ass video after complaining ass video. I'm tired of seeing them complaining ass videos, if you ask me. I'm tired of seeing them shits. What the fuck is you complaining about? You see what I'm saying? Do something about it. Stand up. You got the power. You a fucking man. And that's for whoever, whoever. If the shoe fit, put the motherfucker on and wear it straight up every day y'all sending me messages hey cook her cook her cook this hey uh uh go in on her fuck am i going in on her for i'm going in on your weak ass because you the reason that she's that way behind every hoe is a whole ass dude we the leaders right we the kings and we the leaders right men are leaders and masculine and shit. well then fucking act like it Set boundaries like masculine men do. Set standards like masculine men do. Lead like masculine men do. You feel what I'm saying? We gotta stop this bullshit, man. We gotta stop this bullshit. And tighten up, fellas. Stop tolerating bullshit. I'm gonna say it again. Every time that you tolerate a woman's bullshit, you do every man on the planet a disservice. And I go to say, you do everybody on the planet a disservice, even the fucking kids, when you tolerate a woman's bullshit. Straight up. 